can I see it from my part of the world? And can you explain where Comet Neowise is visible across the globe right now? So yeah, as Emily mentioned, if you're in the Northern Hemisphere, you can see it. Uh, as the next couple of days progress, we'll be getting higher in the evening sky. So you're gonna wanna look Northwest, right under the Big Dipper. So as this graphic shows, you can see where the comet was a few days ago with respect to the, the uh, Dipper in the Big Dipper, to the bucket. Um, so that will be moving up and in this image to the left a little bit. So getting more underneath the Big Dipper. Um, what you want to do is go out right around the time that the first stars start to show up. And so you're not going to be able to see it before that. It's probably about as bright as some of the stars in the Big Dipper. So find out what time your local sunset is. Go out about 45 minutes after that um, and wait until the first stars start to appear. And that's when you should start looking with your binoculars. Okay, so is it visible from the southern hemisphere at all? Unfortunately, no, not right now. <sighs> That's a shame. <laughs> um, so, Harris <laughs> on Twitter asks, um, "What is the diameter of Comet Neowise? Is it an inter and is it an interstellar object?" Yeah. So, so from oh, Emily, uh, you take it. Oh, <laughs> so from it. our initial data with the Neowise spacecraft, we're able to make a uh, preliminary measurement of the size of the nucleus. We found out it's about three miles across or five kilometers for, for, for the other folks who might use uh, the metric system. Uh, and this one, we know it's not an interstellar object. Uh, by watching its motion, we can see that it's bound to the sun's gravity. So it's coming in very rapidly, and then it's going to go far back out again, and then, but then it should come back in again in about 6,800 years. <laughs>